The Michigan Wolverines get a win, 38-17, to and it was not just a win. It was a bludgeoning. Harbaugh said after the game that the Wolverines would not be denied in this game, and he was not wrong. They were otherworldly, I, I guess would be a way to say it. They Early in this game, you could kind of tell that, hey, they're, they're kind of handling these guys on the line of scrimmage. Wisconsin continues to have turnover problems. Graham Ertz is like he he didn't throw any interceptions, so that's good. But when, when the season started, if you'd have thought this team would have had three losses going into the first weekend of October, what would you? Have, I mean, who would? What I would not. What have kind of odds? What kind of odds would you have taken for that? I mean, what would you have had to gotten to make that bet? Because you think you're just throwing away money. Yeah, I mean, I I don't even know. I would have never thought it was possible. Like I, I just. I, and they got the they got Michigan and Penn State at home. You figure you're getting at least one of those. And you got Eastern Michigan on the schedule, so you got that one win. And you don't think that Notre Dame is going to be very good. So like I I, I don't I mean, this was this was insane. This was absolutely insane. The flea flicker in the first half to get the passing game going for Michigan was a genius play call. Yep. And and it led to a really good day for Cade McNamara. 17 out of 28, 197 yards, two touchdowns. Like this Michigan fans have been saying and and of course nobody believed them. But Michigan fans have said, "Hey, we we can pass it when we need to." We just hadn't needed to. That's right. And I I don't after after Rutgers last week, I didn't believe them. Now, I think I might. Like they they were that's pretty a, good. That's a pretty good defense uh, that Wisconsin's got. Outside of that defense, Penn State's about the other defense. At the, uh, Michigan State might be up there with them. Wisconsin's not what they used to be anymore. Some people need to look at Paul Chris and see it has your time has your time come. They, I think, no, I don't know who you go get unless you yeah. go get Brett again. All right, now if you call Brett back, you know you know what Brett's going to want. He's going to want you to pay his coordinators. Okay, I, I don't think Brett would go back. But I, I don't necessarily know that it's just a Paul Christ problem. I think that, well, yeah, okay, so I take that back. It is on the head coach. It's absolutely on the head I, coach. I was just about to say, I it'd be real hard for me not to take this on Paul. Well, yeah, He's I mean, the guy that plays, calls the plays. Yeah. It's his offense. It's his scheme. And the offense is what is awful. awful. 210 they total. Cannot, yeah, they two, cannot score. 210 yards of total offense. And it's, it's not that the yardage has been an issue in the past games. It's been... They can't stop turning the football over. They had three yeah. again. Like I, I don't, I don't know what to make of Wisconsin at this point. I do know if you look at the schedule that's remaining, they got they got Brett next week. You know, <laughs> like that's yeah. gonna be tough. Like, like they should roll through the you know the West pretty easily until they get to Iowa. I mean, we we say that. So they they've got Illinois Army at Purdue, Iowa Rutgers. Northwestern, Nebraska, I know, Minnesota. I know Army's not on the list, but Jesus Christ, Ball uh, State. It, it, well, we, they they gave up a ninety nine yard. This is one of my bets on the the Bet US show. They gave up yeah, a ninety nine well, yard touchdown uh, return. No, on, I on a kickoff. lost money on Army or yesterday. Yeah, it was. I don't. I don't know what happened. Like Ball State has looked like garbage all season. Whatever. Uh, anyway, but Wisconsin. Anyway, sorry. There's there's a lot of teams on Wisconsin's schedule that's left that can beat them. Like Minnesota mm-hmm. can beat them. Nebraska. I, dis- I disagree with that. Nebraska uh, can absolutely beat them. Um, maybe, maybe Purdue if they get any kind of uh, probably not Purdue. Uh, Iowa for I, sure. Hang on, hang on. Minnesota, but not Purdue. Minnesota, but not. Are we kidding? Like, do you have you watched Minnesota play football this year? I mean, Minnesota beat Purdue yesterday. Okay, like, all right. Neither Purdue. one of them are very good. Neither one of them are good. I think. At I all. think that's just more of a uh, a styles make fights kind of deal in my head. Right. Well, I, I that, think Minnesota be. I I think Wisconsin's head and shoulders better than them. I think Wisconsin's head and shoulders better than Northwestern. I, I think had you know they're gonna maybe Nebraska could give them a fight. I don't know where that game is. I don't know that it matters. And and when they play Iowa, I think they'll get their ass whipped by Iowa. I think they will get negative yards when Iowa's done. Hackwell family jumped in. He said it's just a case of choosing the wrong quarterback. Wisconsin let their winner go to Notre Dame. Well, you might not be wrong. That might not be wrong, but even that guy's getting benched at Notre Dame now. Yeah, Ghost Dog jumped in, said uh, Michigan got the matchup. Would take more games for me to buy in. Yeah, I mean Michigan did have a a good matchup in this. It was 
I'm surprised that there were this many points that were scored. They I haven't trailed. That. They've played a bunch of good teams, like some pretty good teams. Like, I don't know. At, at what point, if you're not going to buy in, you just choose them to, to hate hardball. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. You're not wrong. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.